The new items for 2017 are a real treat for all model railroaders. Steam engine enthusiasts will particularly enjoy this ore train and its powerful draft horse. Ja, die 42 hat Series 42 has this really special face, so to speak. Its lights are not placed on the usual buffer beam location, but instead are in the cylinder enclosure, where they are hidden in a sort of protective box. This is what makes the engine's appearance so unique. We've installed a circuit board inside the cylinder, so that the LEDs will shine directly on the lantern's lens. The wires run from the circuit board all the way to the tender, which contains the electronics. This is a clever solution that remarkably alters the wall locomotive's appearance. The model depicts the prototype from ERA 3. Its body is mostly made of metal, and it comes with a digital MFX Plus decoder, which includes a large variety of sound functions. The engine is best combined with a set of matching hopper cars of series Erz 1D. They will be available as a 24-piece set, with different road numbers, of course. A further 12 cars will be released as Trix models. The sandpipes are particularly striking details on the locomotive. A further nice feature is the free space between trucks and boiler. The sandpipes reach from the sand dome all the way down along the boiler sides to the space behind the wheels. This certainly is a new level of detailed construction and design on a steam engine unlike everything we have seen before. For wartime purposes, Series 42 received a comparatively plain design with a closed driver's cap and only one side window. Another detail is a pair of simple Degenkolb smoke deflectors. The tub style tender is another interesting feature. The new engine will be released in early 2017. Therefore, production at the Maglin site in Göppingen has already begun. The tub tender is also made of metal, which increases the model's overall value and which makes it more stable in operation. The tender is designed to accommodate the speaker at a later point. With Series 42, another classic is going to rejoin the Macklin assortment. Series 50 in its popular version, including a cap tender. The engine will be released as an ERA 4 model and depicts the prototype as it looked around 1970. A rather opulent model with its Witte smoke deflectors and massive boiler superstructure. This engine is also primarily made of metal parts. The lights in the cap tender can be controlled through digital operation. A train conductor figure is included in the set. The model will be released as a direct current model for Trix as well. The same goes for Series 42. This locomotive will be available as a half L model for Trix in a DC version as well. Combine this engine with a set of matching ore cars to create a wonderful freight train with an authentic appearance from the 1950s. But ERA 3 is not the only period for great freight train engines. Fans of the more recent railroad history will be pleased to discover different versions of Series 187 among the new items. The model will be made using completely new tooling. Please note that all items presented here are only pre-production samples and do not represent the actual models for series production, which will of course have metal bodies. A digital MFX decoder is mounted on a board which allows for numerous sound functions. A special drive located in the center of the model powers all axles by means of carden shaft. A nice imitation of flexible panels cover the engine's flanks. Four pantographs are mounted on the roof. They can be mechanically raised and lowered. 
Warm white and red LEDs serve as headlights and are operated digitally. BLS Cargo primarily operates these locomotives at Gotthards, where they are used for pulling long container trains. Yet, these engines are even more versatile. Baureihe 187, Series 187, usually known as Trax 3, has a so-called last mile function for most of its foreign versions. This means the electric engine can fall back on diesel operation where there are no overhead contact lines available, for example on factory grounds. We've designed this locomotive both as a BLS type with optional diesel operation for the last mile and as Series 187 of the German Federal Railroad. The German version comes without a diesel engine, although you can still spot the hole where you would normally put the filler plug. This is the German version of Series 187. Its prototype is going to play an increasingly important role for freight traffic. The inexpensive model is rich in details, lavishly equipped and perfect for every beginner. It will soon be found pulling half hour freight trains on many a layout. We don't know if the missing last mile function was intentional. At any rate, the Ludmilla is now responsible for pulling the boiler cars to the connecting line. The travelers waiting at the station, however, hardly seem to notice. The boiler cars are made from completely new tooling. They all possess ladders on the front ends as well as circumferential rails made of metal. The VTG car also comes with a mounted drain gutter. The dome covers are arranged differently for each car. The models receive lavish printing including individual road numbers. Macklin offers the half-o cars in a 12-piece set. At the same time, Trix released a set with cars of the same type. However, those cars depict prototypes owned by different operating companies and therefore appear in another paint scheme. Change of scene. We are moving from freight traffic to the Trans-Europe Express. The elegant railcar VT085 will be released as both a Märklin and Trix model. It depicts the TEE185 Paris Ruhr, a four-part train set that used to operate in 1957. This train is released as a one-time series on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the TEE in 2017. Every car receives a detailed interior as well as warm white LEDs for lighting the inside of the cars and the driver's cabs. Furthermore, an MFX Plus World of Operation decoder is mounted on board the train. Another important item, Series 103. The club model comes with a number of nice innovations, such as the engineer changing from one driver's cab to the other with a direction of travel. Lighting inside the driver's cab as well as pantographs that can be raised and lowered. Series 103 243 gets to work. For the first time, Macklin depicts Series 103 with a long driver's cab in Havo scale. The decoder is suitable for operation with digital formats such as MFX, Motorola 1 and 2, as well as DCC. The delicate, movable pantographs are especially fun to operate.
The engineer who switches from one end of the engine to the other is also visible when the model is operated in an analog mode. Numerous grab irons and windshield wipers can be mounted separately. Additional press-in details further embellish the locomotive's face. A five-pole high-efficiency drive with a flywheel ensures excellent handling characteristics. At the station, Series 103-243 takes over a new train. The engine quickly approaches the platform, where the trainset TEE-32 Parsifal is already waiting. The pretty train set is an exclusive model for club members, just like Series 103. All models depict their prototypes as they looked in the late 1970s. The train set includes a saloon coach, APMZ 121, a bar car, a restaurant car as well as two saloon cars, AVMZ 207. The models of the cars are built in a scale of 1 to 93.5 and include LEDs for interior lighting as well as current carrying couplers. One of the AVMZ cars is also equipped with a trip lamp. Life is good even when not spent around trains. This young man seizes the moment to declare his love to the nice young lady by his side. Whereas he only has eyes for the TEE Parsifal, a wonderful train that is surely going to find many admirers. There are even official announcements for extraordinary occasions, such as delays caused by signal malfunctioning. The sound function is controlled via digital operation. Werte Fahrgäste, aufgrund einer Signalstörung verzögert sich die Weiterfahrt um ca. 15 Minuten. Über Ihre Anschlussmöglichkeiten werde ich Sie in Kürze informieren. However, we can't wait any longer, as there are still so many new items to discover. It's not at all unusual for a snowplow to appear on the track during the summer. On the one hand, it is used for climate measurements. On the other hand, even a snowplow needs to be hauled to the locomotive shed for inspection every once in a while. The blades on the sides can be extended manually. The mounted ladder is made of metal. The truck frames are nicely done. The model comes with authentic ERA 3 lettering. The work searchlight can be switched on and the driver's cab interior and windows allow for an unobstructed view. Air tanks are mounted on the tender. On its way back, Series 95 is towing a rotary snowplow of the Henschel type that also needs to be taken to the workshop for repairs. The movable side wings are missing. The model is rich in details. 
the searchlight, the rotary blades and the smoke generator can be operated in analog mode as well. The model has a metallic top. The tender is a 22T26 type. A direct current version of this model is part of the Trix assortment. Series 95 continues its drive to the workshop. As soon as the rotary snowplow has arrived at the shed, the local workmen immediately tend to the missing side wings. They are not quite in the right position yet, but the serious model will of course include proper side wings. Here are a few LGB topics for 2017. Rio Grande, the Sachsenzug and Pullman cars. The first clue is Rio Grande. When we think of the American West, we immediately think of the General Motors F7 engine, its chunky nose and the A and B unit. Each locomotive is equipped with a loudspeaker, including the B unit, although it isn't powered. When A and B unit are connected, they will both have sound functions available. Propulsion is achieved by means of ball bearing mounted Bühler drives. The decoder is suited for MFX and DCC operation. In early August last year, we were able to take part in the festival called Historic Mobil. This gave us the chance to present our model of the 1K side by side with its big prototype. The color scheme and lettering match ERA 6 characteristics. The same goes for the double car. All models have an interior detail. The 1K was depicted as it could be viewed in the past, that is, as number one named Alexander Tima. The engine comes with extensive sound functions, smoke generator, digital lighting and three passenger cars in tow, that is, a double car and two additional cars. We are constantly asked, where are the remaining three cars? as the prototype train comes with six cars. But I can assure you that we are going to produce all six cars and present them as new items at a later date. Next clue, Pullman car. This is the familiar Pullman Express train consisting of a small, two-axle baggage car, the four Pullman cars and a saloon car, which has had a very interesting history. It was recently refurbished and received a new color scheme. This is an innovative new design with side panels, interior fitting and many separately mounted details.